and on to the list it goes. So I'm building the mostly printed CNC. I think I made a little video a while ago about picking up some parts from the folks at some of the one of the people at uh, the hack space. So anyways, I, I've printed all of the uh, remaining parts. And this is going to be the Z axis. I think that's the tool mount. And this, this is remarkably solid. Like, <clears throat> so this is 50% infill. It's very nicely designed. Inside of here are a couple of nut traps. So you've got um, a, a, a spreader of the force inside here. So, so it's spreading the force at least on that wide. And then it's spreading it laterally as well, or longitudinally as well. And so also these screws will probably distribute force. So you're actually getting a clamping clamping surface that looks something like that on either of these. So that's a, that's a pretty robust clamp. And uh, yeah, it certainly, certainly feels rigid. Rigid. So yeah, um, that's one of the first... Uh, pieces of assembly I've done on the MPCNC. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, bearing in one side, motor on the other. And now we need to put a coupler on there. Okay, so this is the next piece of assembly that we try to get at. So that's the uh, the what's going to be moving, moving up and down. Okay, so I bought the wrong length of bolt here, but that's just that's just life. I'll have to go get a proper length. It's supposed to be five inches. I don't know why I thought that was five inches, but anyways. Um, People must be telling me lies. That is um, the centerpiece. Now, what happens is this guy slides onto here. And so that is what because you know this doesn't seem to want wanting to fit in here. Okay, so it's starting to come together. We've got our x and y axes reasonably smooth. I need to do some adjustment on the tension um, bolts. Um, they might be just a little bit snug. So the these bolts here um, tension the uh, these. Uh, so you snug these up, and then that adjusts the angle between uh, these, and that's how you adjust the tension on those. So these these two are tension bolts, so those might be too snug um, because it seems a little bit tight. And then similarly, we've got a tension bolt here and um, here. So this tensions all of those three. So one, sorry, those two. There's a tension there, and a ten, uh, uh, there's a, uh, a bearing in both of these slots, and then there's this bearing here, and this bearing here, and these are all tension, um, adjust tension in the same way as on here. So you clamp these tight, and that adjusts the angle very slightly here, which, um, you know, you tilt this a tiny bit, and that in, improves the tension. But um, So there are those two things, and then there's also some tension bolts here. So this and this and where am I here that one there and that one there are the tension bolts for the z-axis so yeah uh, it's starting to come together I've got a bunch of wiring to do I need to go get some uh, some wire and make up some wiring harnesses and then do some um, like I said make a table for it and yeah uh, it will uh, it's moving along so the lead screw that I bought had a um, has a uh, anti backlash mechanism, which is just simply a um, a split nut 
that has some spring tension that keeps the uh, this nut uh, pressed against the upper side of the threads and this part of the nuts pressed against the bottom side of the threads but it doesn't fit into the hole but this this does without the spring on it so um, uh, that's the way it was designed to not need one of these so I'll just take the um, the spring and the um, anti-backlash mechanism off and then um, work work with it that way so yeah and this moves pretty nicely and so I'm going to need to uh, get it get all of the other um, arms moving with that much ease because yeah it just falls down but that barely falls down so yeah needs to adjust some tension That's just pretty satisfying to play with, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Okay, so we'll put electronics on the side and then run cabling off the back, I would imagine, so that it's out of the way from... Oh, I've got this in the wrong way. So, yeah, this will be lower left, upper right. So I just have to spin that 300, uh, 180 degrees. And, yeah, something like that. Okay, so uh, we've got a replaceable sacrificial center section uh, now I need to do a glue up on the edges and then this is just screwed down so glue up on those and uh, one hour later Feels pretty rigid. This there's a little bit of flex, but that's going to be taken up in the motors. Getting it squared up was and bolted down makes this an really impressively rigid frame. I am like it is solid. I don't think it would be human load bearing, but still. Motors, belts, end stops, never ends. Okay, I think I like the square on this too. There's probably maybe a sixteenth 
in difference between the diagonals. Pretty square. <laughs>